Okay, it's May 31st, 2024, and I'm going to give you a tour of Sea Wings, which is our Navigator 51 stretched to 56 feet, counting the dinghy in the back. This is the pilot house, which is the lower control station. You can see it's got a full array of electronic controls, thrusters, steering wheel and then these are the tank monitors the engine gauges the twin engines and then we have a chart plotter and an integrated ipad that are both showing the same picture on the navigation screen a full array of cruising manuals and books this is kind of an upper area where you could sit and have dinner. We did yeah, not, yeah. we didn't use that. This chair, captain's chair, it's supposed to be electric, couldn't get it to work. And then to get up onto the flybridge, you climb six stairs, come up this real nice and bright area that's completely enclosed with brand new. Um, Isinglass, which is a kind of plastic, but it's really very nice here. These are brand new helmsman's seats, and then all of the controls repeat up here. And you can see this is looking straight out the front now. You can see how you can see the bow very nicely, so when you're driving. You can detect any motion if you're going to hit something with the front of the boat. Or you can come over here to the side if you're docking and look, just look directly over and see how close you are to the adjacent dock. This week we've had this slip all to ourselves. There's a, another boat next to us, which would have made it a little more challenging to get in and out of the slip. As you can see going forward, there are massive fishing boats all around us. This is the commercial dock in Bellingham, and they put some of the bigger boats in here that are doing these charters. So, and formerly the dinghy was held on this platform back here. They instead decided to put the dinghy off the back of the boat and then put a huge solar panel, which really adds a lot of charging capacity to the batteries. We didn't have to turn, turn on the generator one time on the whole trip. So now I'm gonna go down these stairs again, back into the pilot house. This is the electric panel. So there's an AC and a DC side. And this can be powered by the ship's batteries, shore power, or the generator. It does it all automatically. It's got this really nice integrated screen that shows you the charge, current charge on the batteries 100%. Shows you what's going out if you're using something like the microwave or the heater or the light bulbs. You can see it on there and calculate what kind of um, power draw you're doing and adjust as needed. Now we're heading down five stairs into the cabins. This is the master cabin. This is, I think it's a queen. And it's got a, what, we're just getting ready to leave, so I've got all this stuff in here. But it's got a washer. I mean, a separate washer and dryer, which is... Not something you find every place. And then really nice storage. Cedar lined, lighted storage. And then a fair size master head with a stand up shower. We had a little leak up here in the roof. We had tremendous rains and water was coming down that through that light and they're gonna have to figure that out. That's good much better to have the ability to say here's the problem and you guys have to go fix it so here's the 
one of the guest cabins. It's, just, it's bunk beds, but they're actually pretty spacious, except up here where you got to get your head below this area. You're going to watch it. You're going to whack it. And then this guest head. Same setup, basically, with a stand-up shower. And then the what they call the VIP cabin, which is a Pullman burr, so you have to climb over the person to get out. And then a hatch, which was leaking on the floor here and on the bed. They're, they're going to get right on that. And then there's just all kinds of storage down here, including this hanging locker. That's There's just a lot of storage that you don't normally get, certainly not on a sailboat. I'm not even sure what's in some of these. Never got around to opening it. And then heading back to the salon area. It's got this nice credenza on the left. And then still is cleaning up the kitchen. It's been but a great boat. It's got I mean pretty substantial refrigerator. Plenty plenty for us for the two people. A lot of the bigger boats have a full-size refrigerator, but this had propane stove, convection, microwave, and then just a beautiful array of organized items in the, in all the drawers. Have everything labeled, what should go where. They, they have everything. It's like they have two oyster knives, crab crackers, crab pickers, cheese knives, Amazing. And this is nice solid surface countertop and then the TV that goes goes up on a lift. Make it go back down. And it has Elon Musk Starlink internet. So we've had complete internet connectivity the entire trip and stepping out onto the back deck they've got really nice deck chairs this is kind of an artificial teak surface that's, that's kind of padded it's real nice and then the dinghy is on a davit system that hangs off the back and as you can see it increases the length of the boat by at least four feet morning morning but it's got a barbecue, and then this is looking up at that solar panel from below. But it's nicely covered deck, so you, if it's pouring rain, you can be out here and not get soaked. And then coming down from below, we have the what they call the lazarette. And this is just where you keep lots of stuff, and the that's the fuel tank. There's two, I think 200 gallon, no, 250 gallon tanks. And we filled those up yesterday afternoon. I think we'd use 60, just 60 gallons for our seven day trip. And then the engine room, these engines are huge. I think they're 300 pound, 300 horsepower John Deere Lugger marinized diesel engines. They're, they're just massive. And there's one on each side. Each has all of its own controls and shafts and everything. And the fuel system, filters, and all the ancillary equipment, batteries, and this is the uh, generator and then just various items that they have down here this is the fuel vacuum gauge to see if your fuel filters are clogged or not and they have spares for basically everything on the boat so it's kind of in the basement you can't stand up you have to crawl in here but it's not bad it's pretty well laid out and they've got everything organized and 
you can refer to a large manual that they give and they have they tell you where everything is and how it works so now I'm going to step out back up onto the deck I'll just step off. So you can see the it's quite long. Oh yeah, it's a fifty one hundred with an extra five feet of dinghy hanging off the back. So I'm walking forward. So you can see when you pull out of here, you don't have a lot of room. You got to basically get beyond this corner of the dock and then pivot the boat. Right now, there's absolutely no wind, but yesterday it was fairly windy and you have to get out here, pivot the boat and get going down this passageway and that heads you out to the ocean, to the laps there. And the tides have been incredibly um, strong at this time, or strong, but they've been big tides all the way down to a minus two foot and up to eight and a half feet. So these they're called floating docks. The docks move up and down over these pilings, so you're always at the same level when you step off, which is really handy. Oh, and here's the really nice uh, anchor forget the name of it and then this is our neighbor who's got a bay liner just keeps his crap just sitting out here so I think that pretty much concludes the tour enjoy